In this session, we will be explaining the concepts of sight words, naming words, and the sounds of animals as we continue to implement the zero investment innovative idea of what's in the picture. As mentioned at the end of our last video, we will be displaying the same picture card of the zoo that we used in our previous session and ask a few leading questions based on it. Begin by asking the students, name the animals that you can see in the zoo. Accept all possible responses from them. Once the students have finished, ask them to tell us where these animals are found. That is, if they are found on land, in the water or on the trees and so on. Also, ask the students to tell us what sounds do these animals make? As the students are responding, we will simultaneously write it on the board in a tabular format as shown. Once we've collected all the information, we will form sentences by matching the name of the animal to the place where they're found and the sound they make. For example, we will say chimpanzees are found on trees and they make the who sound and the penguins can be found in the water or on snow and they make the quack sound. In a similar way, continue with all the other animals. Ensure that you emphasize the name of the animal and the place where they are found. This will guide the students to the concept of naming words. Thus, with the use of this activity, we've covered the concepts of sight words, naming words and the sounds of animals. Wasn't it really interesting to see how we can teach so many concepts using just one picture card? This creative aspect of the idea, what's in the picture, ensures that the students not only enjoy the lesson visually, but also grasp the different concepts faster. Let's implement this innovative idea further in our next session, where we will be explaining more concepts of the poem.